हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू बेस्ट टेक्निक चैनल प्लीज लाइक कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल थैंक यू फोकसिंग ऑन द गैप्स अ कॉमन मिस्टेक दैट वी टेंड टू डू इज टू प्लेस ऑल आवर अटेंशन एंड एनर्जी ऑन व्हाट इज मिसिंग इन आवर लाइफ ऑन द अदर हैंड पीपल दैट लिव इन अबंडेंट लाइफ आर नेचुरल एट पुटिंग देयर एनर्जी ऑन व्हाट दे वांट टू मैनिफेस्ट by switching your thoughts to be more oriented to what you want you are painting a clear picture of what it is that you desire by doing so it is easier to find what you seek when you know what you want as opposed to what you know you don't want forget about the present those who live an abundant life have a greater ability to stay in the present moment they don't tend to dwell on past events nor do they focus on the future for happier times They consider the present moment to be a good time and also an opportunity to choose to be happy. They don't delay living a happy life based on something they will get later. They find the joy in the present. A great way for you to get started is to take a moment now to appreciate the good that is in your life now. 5 signs that you are not open to receive the abundance of the universe. In this presentation, We will explore five signs that will help you understand why you are not living an abundant and fulfilling life. You don't ask for help. If you resist asking for help or accepting help when you need it, you are telling the universe that you are not deserving. That type of belief or perception is blocking you from receiving in other spheres of your life. If you can't accept help from others, you can't accept a little help from the universe. Try to find ways to ask for help. Most people love helping others and you might just make someone's day by asking them to assist you in your life. You are uncomfortable with compliments. Compliments are a form of receiving. If you are uncomfortable with receiving compliments, you are showing a form of discomfort with receiving the abundance around you. You don't need to find excuses for why you are not worthy of receiving compliments. You just need to say thank you and maybe add a smile. You dwell on the past. When you spend your energy thinking about past events, it leaves you with no energy to manifest what you want in life. If you want to change or accept your past, you just have to make choices in the now and bring your attention back to what you can do now to feel happier. What choice can you do right now to help you access more abundance? One way would be to express gratitude in regards to what your life is today. You often use the words don't or can't. Limiting words like can't, won't, or don't creates limiting beliefs and can manifest as a limited life. Catch yourself using those words and transform them into words that empower you to do something about the situation. For example, if you say, "I don't have enough money to do," you can change the sentence to, "I could save some money to do." you envy others envy is a behavior that attracts a belief that there isn't enough abundance in this world for everyone that conviction leads to a scarcity mindset which limits us and only focus on the gaps in order to shift to an abundance mindset you need to start recognizing the good in your life and stop comparing to others how to move from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset in this tutorial we will teach you how you can move from a scarcity mindset to a mindset that attracts an abundant happy and fulfilling life a scarcity mindset is focused on what you don't have in your life our mind becomes busy worrying and stops us from accessing what we want from life a scarcity mindset will focus on limitations When you limit yourself with your beliefs and actions, you are not open to receive or recognize that abundance is all around you. It is important to understand that with an abundant mindset, we realize that there is enough in this world for everyone to receive. You let go of feelings like jealousy, envy, or pity for yourself and take matters in your own hands. With an abundant mindset, you don't focus on the limitation but you focus on what you can do now to change the situation to bring you one step closer to what you want 
The best way to move from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset is to be aware of your scarcity-based thinking patterns. Start by identifying which area of your life you perceive as not being enough. That could be financial, relationships, work, social, or personal. Once you've identified the area that is the most challenging for you, reflect on what it is that you want. What does abundance in that area look like? What are you doing now that is limiting you from accessing abundance? What can you do to change your situation? Once you've identified what you can do in your life, make sure that you choose to express what you want as opposed to what you don't want. Here's an example. Sally feels like she is unhappy in her relationship. She would love to access an abundant love life. She wants to manifest a love relationship that is fulfilling and allowing her to be happy. What she perceives as limiting her from accessing an abundant love life is her partner who is not present for her. Instead of sitting back and feeling sorry for herself, she chooses to express her feelings to her partner by sharing with him what she wants, which is to grow closer to him. By focusing on what she wants, she's able to clearly express the need as opposed to the gap. How to Receive More in Life In this tutorial, we will teach you how you can receive more in your life. You can start applying the following suggestions today and live a more abundant, happy, and fulfilling life. First, let's identify what you want to receive more of. Do you want to have more money, more love, more joy, or a better health? Choose one thing for now and be clear in what it is that you want to manifest in your life. Now that you've picked one thing, let's explore it a bit deeper. Ask yourself, why is it that you want this so much in your life? What will it bring you? Ask why five times to get at the bottom of what you truly want. Here's an example. I want more money. Why do you want more money? I want more money because it will give me more freedom. Why will it give you freedom? Having more money will allow me to do what I want. Why do you want to do what you want? Because if I do what I want, I will be happier. Why do you want to be happier? Because when I am happy, I don't worry and it feels good. Why does it feel good? Because I can be myself and do what my heart wants. The purpose of the five whys is to lead you to the true reason why you want something and especially dig more into the feeling that what we want will bring us. In the example I provided you with, you can see that wanting more money leads to wanting to be myself and listen to my heart. This last piece can give you a lead on actions to put in place that will help you reach that feeling. My next question to that person would be, what is stopping you from being yourself now? In your case, you can ask yourself, what stops you from assessing what you truly want? Make a list of those barriers. Then ask yourself, what would you do to remove those barriers? Make a list of five simple actions that you could do. Choose one action that you would like to do and apply it today. Then reflect on how it made you feel and try the next action in the list. You will be surprised where it leads you. The Three Secrets of an Abundant Mindset In this presentation, you will learn three important secrets that will open the door for you to access an abundant mindset. When we start applying some of the techniques to live an abundant life, we are often not very successful at first. The following secrets will help you understand why we are sometimes unable to manifest what we want in life, even if we apply the techniques that we are taught. Learn to receive. The biggest reason that blocks many of us from receiving the abundance that exists in our world is a deep belief that we are not worthy of it. Ask yourself, how do you behave when someone compliments you on your skills or how you look? Do you have the tendency to find an excuse? Or maybe you simply change the subject. People with an abundance mindset are not afraid to say thank you when someone gives them a compliment. If you want to start receiving the abundance, start with a simple thank you. 
Find what you love. In order to have an abundant life, you need to figure out what it is that you love doing. Many times we try to do something that others do simply because they are successful. The more you will align with what you love doing, the more abundance you will attract in your life. If you're trying to be someone else, you will block the flow of abundance because you are not in the heart space, but in the mind space. If someone succeeds at something, it isn't because of what they do, but because of who they are. Feel what you want. It is not only important to identify what you want, but it is more important to feel what you want. Let me give you an example. You've decided that you want to purchase a home, but unfortunately, you don't have the financial means to do it. Take a moment to picture yourself in a home. What is it that you feel? Joy? Happiness? Try to identify the feeling attached to that idea. Now see how you can bring that feeling into the present moment. What can you do right now to bring you the same feeling? The more you will align with the feeling that what you want brings you, the more you will attract it in your life. In this presentation, we will reveal the secret ingredient that you need to access an abundant, happy, and fulfilling life. Have you ever wondered why some people are more successful than others in life? Wouldn't it be nice to have everything that you need? You're only missing one very important ingredient to access it. The secret ingredient is your mindset. Yes. Depending on how you use that ingredient, you can either make a perfect recipe for abundance or you can completely destroy it. Here's how you can make sure that you are selecting that ingredient wisely. First, you need to find a fresh mindset, one that is not jaded or too ripped. The finest mindset is the one that smells positive and tastes happy. Do not worry. If you're not sure where you can find a fresh mindset, with some effort, you can certainly grow one. What you will need to grow a perfect mindset for abundance is an environment where the mindset can be nourished by appreciation and gratitude. You can show appreciation by recognizing the good things around you. It can be as simple as appreciating that you are able to breathe today. That is a miracle when you think about it. You can also show more gratitude by welcoming accomplishments or gifts with a simple thank you. Being open to receive will allow your mindset to flourish. Another aspect to grow a mindset for abundance is to welcome any situation as an opportunity to learn. When you start looking at obstacles as a way to change and be more aligned with what you want, you realize that there are no mistakes but simply redirections. One last thing is that an abundance mindset is more likely to exist in an environment where the word can't doesn't live. The word can't is not useful and serves one purpose to limit your growth. If you catch yourself using that word, try to redirect yourself to something more empowering. When you say, I can't do it, go back to rephrase that by stating what you can do. For example, the sentence, I can't be happy with him, would become, I can choose to be happy now. Or, I can't pay off my credit card, would become, I can stop using my credit card. Practice and you will find the mindset for an abundant life. Three mistakes people make that stops them from living an abundant life. In this presentation, we will show you three mistakes that some make and stops them from creating and living a life that is abundant and fulfilling. These three missteps are not always conscious. Let's find out what they are. Focusing on the gaps. A common mistake that we tend to do is to place all our attention and energy on what is missing in our life. On the other hand, people that live an abundant life are natural at putting their energy on what they want to manifest. By switching your thoughts to be more oriented to what you want, you are painting a clear picture of what it is that you desire. By doing so, it is easier to find what you seek when you know what you want as opposed to what you know you don't want. 
forget about the present. Those who live an abundant life have a greater ability to stay in the present moment. They don't tend to dwell on past events nor do they focus on the future for happier times. They consider the present moment to be a good time and also an opportunity to choose to be happy. They don't delay living a happy life based on something they will get later. They find the joy in the present. A great way for you to get started is to take a moment now to appreciate the good that is in your life now. Feed a sense of urgency. Some believe that being in the present moment means to manifest everything you need now. In fact, it is demonstrated that people who feed a scarcity mindset, which is the opposite of an abundance mindset, will be more prone to focus on immediate wants. They feel the need for instant gratification, like it is urgent that the need is met now. This type of behavior can be detrimental to one's life and have a negative impact on their future. A great example is when we receive a sum of money that wasn't expected. Someone with a scarcity mindset will have the urge to spend it right away on things that are not necessarily essentials. It is almost like they feel the money will disappear if they don't spend it now. Meanwhile, someone with an abundance mindset won't demonstrate that sense of urgency. Three Steps to Manifest What You Desire In this tutorial, you will learn three steps you can take today to manifest what you desire in your life. These three steps are actions that people with an abundant mindset do naturally to bring more abundance around them. Define what you want clearly. Imagine that you work at an electronics store. You see a customer wandering around looking like he can't find what he's looking for. You want to help him, so you approach him and ask if you can help them find what they're looking for. The customer says yes. Then you proceed to ask what he's looking for, and the customer answers, I'm not sure. I was hoping you could help me find it. The moral of this story is that it is practically impossible for the universe to give you what you want if you don't know what you want. People who know exactly what they want can manifest their desires. It is sometimes easier to identify what we want by focusing on a feeling. For example, you know you don't want to be tied financially because you need to feel financial freedom. That feeling will be important because the more that feeling is present in your life, the more you will know that you are moving toward what you desire. Identify actions you can take. Once you've identified what you want more in your life, you can start brainstorming a list of small actions. This will get you closer to your desire. Don't hesitate to do this with friends who can help you find creative ways to manifest your desires. If you use the previous example, the feeling of financial freedom, we can ask ourselves, what can bring me financial freedom? Paying my credit card debt would bring me a feeling of financial freedom. What action can I take right now to pay my credit card debt? Then make a list of actions like the following. Make a daily deposit of $10 to my credit card until I have paid it off. Cut my credit card so that I never use it again. Sell clothes that I no longer wear and use the money to pay my credit card. Act now. Pick an action that is the most realistic for you and apply it today. Only actions will lead you to what you desire. Three things successful people do to bring abundance in their life. In this tutorial, we will show you how you can access an abundant, happy, and fulfilling life. You will learn three things that successful people apply in their life and allow them to reach abundance. Write in a gratitude journal daily. Being grateful about what is present in your life is a great way to attract more positive experiences. If you take the time to recognize the good things happening in your life, you are more likely going to express appreciation toward the people around you and your life in general. When you are in a space of appreciation and positive thinking, you are saying yes to the universe. You're moving yourself out of the scarcity mindset, which is a mindset that attracts limitations, and moving into an abundance mindset, which will allow you to be more open to receive. Express self-love. We often hear that we should not be selfish, 
that we should be kind and show compassion toward others. In reality, self-love is not selfishness. It is putting ourselves as a priority so that we can be our best self in our life and for others. Being your best self means that you have the energy and a state of mind that allows you to be present and love who you are. By appreciating yourself more and accepting that you don't need to be perfect to receive love, you are shifting your mind to be more open to receive. If you are able to receive love from yourself, you will quickly see that love is more present in your life. The more you're comfortable with yourself, the more you will attract positive experiences and open your arms to welcome abundance in your life. Receive with arms wide open. Some people are really uncomfortable with receiving help, gifts, or a compliment from a friend. If this is the case for you, you need to learn to say thank you and stop trying to find excuses that express that you are not worthy of receiving. It doesn't matter in what form you refuse receiving. When you do so, you are sending a message to the universe that you are not worthy of receiving something, and that completely blocks the flow to manifest an abundant life. Start today by learning to say thank you when you receive something. Three things you can do now to increase abundance in your life. In this presentation, we will provide you with three simple things you can do today to increase abundance in your life. Everybody wants a life that is rich and full of abundance, but not many know how to do it. Here are three practical things that will help you create an abundant life. Appreciate what you have. A simple step to abundance is to start recognizing how rich your life already is. Take the time to appreciate what you have in your life. Maybe it is health, people you love, your colleagues, skills, or the simple beauty of nature that surrounds you every day. The more you bring your mind in a space of appreciation and recognition, the more you are allowing yourself to attract positive things to your life you will find yourself realizing how abundant your life is and that what you need is right there in front of you. Accept and let go. The opposite of an abundant life is scarcity. Scarcity is when we perceive that we don't have enough in our life. In order to move yourself from that space of not enough, you need to accept that sometimes you don't have what you want at that moment. The worst you can do next is to dwell on it. When you focus too much on what you don't have, you get into a space where you are unable to manifest what you want. You need to let go of those destructive thinking patterns and instead give you energy to create what you want. When you realize that you don't have something, rephrase to state that you want to have it. Accomplish small actions. Abundance doesn't happen overnight. Most people who live an abundant life will tell you that they work at it every day. On a daily basis, they are accomplishing small actions that align them with what they want in life. For example, if what you want is more money, each day you can make a small deposit in a savings account. $5 a day will become $150 at the end of the month and $1,825 at the end of the year. If on the other hand you want more love in your life, Start with self-love. Every day, make a point to recognize one thing you love about yourself. Top 3 Ways to Change Your Mindset This presentation will show you how to train your mind so that you acquire a new perspective on things that allows you to attract abundance in your life. You will learn three tricks to help you shift your mindset when you worry. These key aspects are natural abilities in people with an abundance mindset. Be in the present moment. By being in the present moment, you're able to not worry about the future or simmer on the past. Your mind will spend less energy on the things that don't really matter in the end. Normally, when we are in the present moment, we recognize that at that moment we are safe. Well, and can have access to inner peace. To practice being in the present moment, you can simply observe your surroundings. Take a minute to notice what you see, 
what you smell, what you hear, what you feel, and what you taste. This will help you to enjoy being more in the present moment. Let go of the past and stop worrying about the future. Focus on what you want. Most of us have the tendency to think of things or situations that we don't want to see happen. For example, let's say that you're trying to increase your financial status. You've applied for three jobs. It's been two days and you haven't received any word from the places you've applied for. You will likely start focusing on the fact that you don't have an update from the companies. This way of thinking is the downfall toward negative emotions. On the other hand, you have the ability to switch your mindset and focus on something that you want. For example, you have applied for three jobs and you will manifest the one that is best for you. Be grateful. A scarcity mindset is a mindset where we perceive that we don't have enough. To shift your mind to an abundance mindset, you have to recognize the good in your life. A great way to do so is to take the time, every day, to write down three things you are most grateful for in your life. You can also take the time to tell people around you why you're grateful to have them in your life. Whatever you put out into the universe will come back to you tenfold.